All right, guys, let's talk about PFL 2019 week one. We have a little bit of a shift in the main event. Kayla Harrison will now be meeting Larissa Pacheco uh, in the main event. These are women's lightweights, 155 pound division being introduced by the PFL. Same thing, the stakes are get to the finals of the uh, regular season and playoffs and you can take home a million dollars. Now, Kayla Harrison, we imagine, will be the favorite in this fight. Larissa Pacheco, who's fought at high levels as well, uh, she'll probably come in as the underdog, but we don't have any odds as of right now. All right, Dan, Tom, who do you like in this one? You know, yeah, speaking of odds, George, you're right. I think we're going to see the Ronda Rousey treatment, right? Anytime these females with a lot of hype or, you know, they just string a, 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 a couple really strong wins together over some decent names, that creates the hype and the odds follow. So that's not going to be a surprise. Uh, not too much guessing needed there, but I like this matchup. It's a different matchup than what was originally slated. We had kind of an interesting Russian cat in Kuatova originally sca scheduled to face Harrison. Now we've got a little bit of a switch up, a shuffling of the deck, and I would argue, guys, a more dangerous and intriguing matchup. Larissa Pacheco, for those of you guys familiar with that name, it's because she actually uh, was in the hype seat at once upon a time herself. She came storming out in 2012, and in 2013, at just 20 years old, she lands herself a spot in the UFC, and she was a favorite coming in to a girl named Jessica Andrade, who also fights this weekend. Now, unfortunately for her, it was not Jessica, but for Larissa, it was a little bit of the classic too much too soon. That hype, all that, the finishes were great. But then she gets thrown in there, you know, at 135 against a future title challenger in Andrade. And her next fight, not any easier, easier a future title uh, champion at featherweight in the UFC, Jermaine Durand me. So she didn't have an easy shake there. She got stopped by both those girls. She did have a comeback win in, in, in March, I believe, of 2018. Uh, to get back on in the winner's circle. I'm not sure what she's been doing, but again, guys, that was like 20 years old when she when she was happening. I mean, remember Max Holloway and these other guys when they were young and yeah. what they looked like? They, they all take these losses. You they just, were getting submitted by Dustin Poirier here at the Mandalay Bay. Yep, and, and, uh, and you just made a great point about the great fighters who take those early losses on today's MMA Junkie radio show, which y'all should check out, uh, George did there. And I think Larissa Pacheco is in a similar boat, George. We're still gonna see the best of her. That being said, uh, uh, fighting earlier than she expected in, in this series uh, against the top seed and Kayla Harrison, that's a tall order. I'm going to side with Kayla Harrison and the improvements that she has to be making in American Top Team. Not just judo, but you know she was able to shoot double leg, show some wrestling, uh, the Nawaza, the ground fighting over judo. Also, I got to imagine getting up there too. Give me Harrison. Look, if she can avoid the uh, ground, I think Larissa Pacheco has a chance in this fight. But it just seems like no one can avoid the ground with Kayla Harrison. She's a phenomenal athlete. Uh, she comes from the decorated judo background, two-time gold medalist for the United States, but strong grips, her improved wrestling, uh, calmness, and she's got like this demeanor of already a world champion after only having three fights uh, in the uh, in the cage there at FL, excuse me, at PFL. Uh, she's so poised. She's even doing some announcing. She's already got like a championship swag. But I'm still not convinced, guys. Three fights in, I'm still not convinced that we can say, hey, look, let's start carving out a spot for her on Mount Rushmore. There's still a process you have to go through to get to that point. Anything can happen in MMA. Anything can happen uh, with the ladies as well. When I see Chris Cyborg get shut down in round one of her title fight by uh, someone who's fought mostly at Bantamweight, it just reminds me anything can and will happen in the sport. Um... I, I'm going to side with Kayla Harrison, obviously, because I just think she's been unstoppable. And it does remind me of the run that Ronda Rousey had. But if Larissa Pacheco can kind of come up with some sort of a game plan like Holly Holm did, which was to avoid the ground at all costs, using your footwork, being efficient with your strikes, making sure you don't kind of cross that zone of where you can get uh, grasped onto, then I think she can make it interesting. Because you got to put a little bit of doubt in the favorite you know, in their head, at least get out of the first round and uh, let them know, hey, this is not going to be an easy night for you. So we'll see. And I think Larissa Pacheco has got a little bit of, of that athleticism, but I'm still siding with Kayla Harrison. How about you guys? It's a dangerous fight for Kayla Harrison. She does not have that much experience in this sport. Anybody that's ever started a job, the second you start to feel comfortable with it early on and somebody tells you today we're doing something different, it's probably the scariest moment in your life. And they did that to her. Something different. She has to adapt. She's not used to something like that in this sport yet. It can be tricky. That being said, if I'm preparing for a Kayla Harrison, 
I want to have a specialized camp because she's got a lot of tools that not every fighter has, male or female. That's just kind of a tall order right now, so I'm going to stick with my pick of Kayla Harrison, but I think it's going to be tricky for her for a little bit. It'll be interesting, man. you got to tune into the main event on ESPN2. That's right. PFL landing with ESPN. They'll be on ESPN2 on Thursday, and keep it locked on MMA Junkie for all your PFL coverage.